Hi YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with something that's a little belated, but we're getting it done, and that is my monthly makeup basket. Yeah, I know. I'm late. About two weeks late, but uh, first I'm going to go over everything that I used in the last month-ish, and I, then I'm going to show you everything that I want to use next month-ish. We're going to stick with the name, though, even if I'm a little behind. So top is this, uh, not eyeshadow palette, although you can wear them as eyeshadow, this is a highlighter palette. This is the Anastasia Aurora palette. I did wear this a little bit. They are very pretty. I'm gonna keep them. That's what I do this for is to, despite project panning most of the time, I'm wearing my project pan products for most days, I do try out other things that I do buy to make sure that I like them and they don't just sit around for months so I can get to them necessarily. Which, this is one thing that I wish I'd gotten to sooner, but uh, this is the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Primer. A lot of people were very excited when this came out on YouTube, and then I didn't hear anything about it. Now I know why. It's average. It keeps me a little mad, but nothing extraordinary, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. But, uh, yeah. twelve. It's like twelve ninety nine too too, for an ounce. So you can get cheaper, that's a little bit better. Uh, honestly, the, uh, what's it called? LA Girl HD Primer is a little bit better than this. You only get half an ounce for $5.99, but even if you just go ahead and buy two of them, it's cheaper than this. Bronzer. I actually use this a lot because I finished my bronzer, but this is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin and Natural Radiance Bronzer. I mean, look at it. It has like some nice usage on it. This is good. It's a good little kind of glow, not, I wouldn't even necessarily call it glowy, but like, slightly satiny bronzer that you can use to bronze up all over the face and it's actually really nice so i would recommend that and you don't hear a lot about neutrogena so yeah that's something that's actually good uh this is something that i actually had to pull because well not like pull out of my stuff but like actually pull out of like my vanity where my makeup lies because i finished up an eye primer this is the essence eye heart stage eyeshadow base and for like four bucks this is actually pretty darn good so this is actually an eyeshadow primer that i do recommend but i have an eyeshadow primer going into my what's it called uh mini madness project pan so i didn't add one this time let's see uh that's here we go uh, I had a little palette. This is the Pacifica Beach Crystals palette. Uh, a lot of people got this through Ipsy. I went swapping for it. I've learned that Pacifica now makes some decent eyeshadows. So if you're looking for a brand that does not test on animals for some eyeshadows, you can check them out. They used to be garbage, but they fixed whatever was wrong with their formula that made them so bad. This is awesome. This is the Rimmel Match Perfection uh, under eye concealer. This is the only eye concealer I've ever used that did not crease on me at all. So uh, once I go through everything, this is what I'm gonna buy from now on, or at least make sure I always have on hand because I always like to test other things. Oh, um, I will keep this and finish it off because it's not bad in any way. It's just nothing spectacular and nothing that I recommend that you necessarily rush out and get, by the way. Let's see. I did play with these. These are the ColourPop Supernova Shadows. Uh, they're good. I mean, I'll swatch this uh, maroony one for you. Like I used the gold one on my lower lash line and inner corner on two different days and I used the maroony one as like an all over the lid shade. They're pretty. So if you're curious, and I got super oily eyelids, guys. So if they don't crease on me, they're probably not gonna crease on anybody. But uh, yeah, they're actually like really nice. So if you're interested in, in them, they're good. So yeah. And ColourPop is usually really cheap. Let's see, I have some extra blushes in here that I guess I'll go over since I never threw them in a basket, but I use them a lot. So I'm not gonna put them in one necessarily. Uh, I bought the Wet n Wild uh, baked blushes that came out as part of their like spring collection recently. The, the bird collection is like Dare to Soar and Don't Flutter Yourself. These are really nice, actually. Like if you like that glowy blush look, these are really good. They had a third one that I wasn't super interested in, so I didn't pick it up, but yeah. Another kind of glowy blush, I like glowy blushes. That's just my thing, I guess, is this Pixie 
an Aspen Novard uh, collaboration in the Glowy Powder Rome Rose. Also a very pretty blush that I am happy to keep. I don't love these twist tops, but I like the blush enough that it doesn't really bother me. It doesn't bother me enough to not keep it, let's put it that way. And I think what I got left is lip stuff, yeah. Because I didn't have a palette this particular month, but I do for a new month. Uh, all of these were actually good. I really liked this. I know some people joked that this was so small that I could probably finish it in one use. It will take a few more than that, but I may pan this at some point. This is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain that I just dropped on the floor, <laughs> but I really like that lavender color. I am wearing a similar lavender color right now in this um, NYX High Voltage Lipstick at Playdate. They no longer sell that line, but I think they still sell the color. Uh, here we have the Jula, what is this called exactly? Hydrating Lip Sheer and Poppy. This is super pretty. It smells really good. I do like a lot of Julep stuff. And I like that kind of, you know, glossy lip butter thing, especially for summer. Let's see, we had the Bourgeois Rouge Edition matte finish in a French name that I'm never gonna try to pronounce because I will never get it right. <laughs> this was pretty. I got this from uh, my friend Hannah. And finally, before I jump into the new stuff, we have the NYX Liquid Suede in Soft Spoken. I really like this formula. Like it's one that actually stays pretty well in place on my lips, but doesn't, you know, turn them to ash either. So out with the old basket, in with the new basket. I swear I know how to talk. Where's that palette? Like I said, bring it in a palette this time. This is the Chi Chi Pop Princess palette. I also got this from Hannah. I think there's a couple of things I got from Hannah in here. But it's just this, you know, super pretty, colorful palette that I think is going to be awesome for summer. So pulling that in. Something I picked up recently. It is a L'Oreal Brow Stylist Sculptor 3 in 1 Brow Tool in Brunette. These were like half off at Walmart, so I picked one up because I also had an Ibotta rebate for like two bucks on it and I only paid four, so I figured it was worth a try. It also has, is this a wax? Yeah, this is a wax on one side too, and sometimes I will use, you know, wax, pencil, and then gel on top of it to make it all stay in place because I got crazy eyebrows. They're probably fighting against the gel right now. Ooh, here's a primer in here too. This is the... Avance, I think. Flawless Effect Skin Care Mattifying Emulsion that I got from a swap from somebody. On my subscriptionaddiction.com, by the way. Listen. I learned recently that this company sucks, but I swapped for it, so I'm gonna use it. This is the Glamour Dolls and Lisa Frank collaboration in Bitten and Bronzed Matte Bronzer. Uh, for a little, a quick filling in, uh, Glamour Dolls did a Kickstarter to fund the Lisa Frank uh, collection and then before giving it to the people that paid for it uh, put sent it out to Ipsy and like Hot Topic or somebody like that to sell instead like I don't think the people that got the Kickstarter have still gotten their stuff but like I have this so like I said I have it so I'm gonna use it at least see if it's any good or not but and then decide if I want to keep it or get rid of it but if I keep it I'm gonna pan it and get it out of my collection because I didn't know that when I got these pieces. So, yeah. Because I got, I got the brush from Ipsy and then I swapped for this in an eyeshadow that also came through Ipsy. So, there you go. Some behind the scenes makeup news for you. Here is a uh, cream highlighter from Julep. This is the cream de powder, they say blush stick, but it's a highlighter in Moulin Sand. I bought a Julep what's it called, a uh, mystery box. And while that looks really dark for a highlighter, I'm hoping that once it's blended out, now I might put this on under foundation to be sure, but I'm hoping it'll look good once it's blended out. Hmm, let's see. I also got a contour. This is the Catrice Prime and Fine Professional mm, contouring palette. It's just, you know, the contour and a little bit of a highlight right here. I filmed a uh, full face of Catrice products that I haven't edited yet and it's been sitting on my computer for like a month and a half because <laughs> I have to do voiceovers for those and I actually really hate the sound of my own voice coming through a recorder so 
That's why I hate editing my own videos and period, but that, that's just amplified by a million. So I drag my ass on filming any, doing anything that requires me to do a voiceover. Because <laughs> like I said, I, I think, I think humans are like conditioned to hate the sound of their voice through a recording because your voice reverberates a certain way in your head versus when you hear it outside from an outside source. But it's crazy. I hate. It makes me really hate the sound of my own voice. Let's see, this is. I picked up some new stuff from Rimmel somewhat recently, but uh, this is the Magna Eyes Holographic Eyeshadow and Face Highlighter in Minted Meteor. I'm actually trying to hit pan on a green highlighter for what will be 13 by Halloween. I think this will go up before that because this is so past due, but uh, this isn't quite the same color, I think. I will wear a green highlight and I will also wear this as an eyeshadow. I will wear them together. It's not crazy like that. I know this MAC uh, haul has already gone up because I got a lot of MAC products recently. And I wanted to use them, so I went ahead and threw them into this set. I think I threw basically everything that I wanted to use right now into here. Like, okay, I didn't throw in the twig lipstick, but I threw in all the other stuff. Like, the Mirage Noir collection, I got a bunch of pieces from it because the packaging kind of intrigued me as to the colors. But this is an eyeshadow in Slow As You Glow that I think is a really pretty. And I have satin taupe in a Z palette that stays in my stuff because it holds my blush and I'm panning, so. And I also have this lipstick in Beach Nut. Like, I'm in a super, I am in a super purple mood lately. I don't know what it is, but I'm feeling it. This would actually be pretty, quite pretty on top of it. I don't remember the name of this. I had to look it up before too. Because it's like not on here anywhere. But uh, I do like Max lip glosses, lip glasses, my, my apologies. Uh, they are sticky, but uh, if the stickier a gloss is usually, the better chance it has of hanging on to your lips, so. And I bought the Patrick Star Miso Fleek collection. Like it was actually like in a box and everything when it came to me. Here we have the lipstick in Hey Boy Hey. Definitely a nice bright ass color for summer. Like all that purple stuff is really more of a fall thing, but I don't care. Let's see, we have this lip glass. This is in Queen P. So there you go right there. And it also came with a blush and eyeshadow set. By the way, packaging, yes. But this was a blush in Take Me Home. It's actually like a duo blush. And I have to swipe this way or the dark you're getting into the light shade will drive me absolutely insane. Because I'm weird. And I'm not gonna swatch all four of these eyeshadows. I should stop swatching, honestly. But uh, let's see. Here they are right here. This is in Living Pink, all rosy. Yeah, I'm doing it right. Um, Hickey and In the Shadows. I think it's still for sale. A NYX Roll-On Shimmer, which can go on top of any eyeshadow, honestly, in blue. Super creative of you right there. That's going to need a glitter primer or else it will not stay in place. But I keep a glitter primer in my stuff from NYX, actually. Yeah. Threw a concealer in here. This is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. And mine is in the shade. What shade are you? Probably something awful because you're Catrice. Yeah. I don't know. It was the lightest thing they had. And this, unlike the foundation, actually kind of works for me. At least on the face, if not necessarily the eyes. I can't believe I just swatched up my finger. But yeah, it blends in pretty okay. I actually decided to declutter my HD foundation because the shade does not match me. And unless, unless I'm wearing very specific primers with it, it will not stay on my face. 
most of the other stuff I tried that was pretty good. Like this highlighting powder, which it basically means highlighter in Champagne Champion is pretty nice. I also have their powder, which I've heard really good things about. I've only tried it once, so we'll see how good it really is. This is the Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder in Translucent. And I have a blush from them too. I have a lot of stuff in here this month. This is the Illuminating Blush in La Vie en Rose. I'm probably saying that wrong. My French is terrible. My Spanish is much better than my French. Maybe it's because I took Latin in high school and college. And finally, we have some eyeliners and a cream eyeshadow thingy. Let's see, we have the Rimmel Ombre, Wonder Ombre eyeliner. Mine is in, I don't know what they call it, but it's green. Now, the idea behind these is you have the regular eyeliner on one side, awkward swatch of boy. Then you have this transformer on the other end you can either like layer on top of the thing to get a different color or I've seen some people use it to just like you know brighten which is still kind of greeny but it would brighten in a green eye look so I, it looks pretty cool to me we'll see how long it stays I've actually had really good luck with Rimmel products for the most part the only reason I don't use their uh stay matte powder is because I've violently despise the packaging so I don't use that but it's a really good powder if you can get past the packaging I just can't let's see we have a julep when pencil met gel long-lasting eyeliner in ultraviolet so there it is right there and finally I've had one of the, I've had this for a while I just haven't had a chance to fool with it yet this is the Revlon photo ready eye art which this is like the, one of the last things that Re, that Revlon put out that was apparently any good because most of the time when you hear them put out something new these days that's immediately reviewed as god awful. But this is apparently in the shades Green Glimmer and no, I think it's just Green Glimmer. I think the other thing is French. So you have, I'm feeling apparently green, purple, and pink this month. But you have this kind of metallic side to it. And then you have this glitter, which you can either layer on top or like put on your lower lash line or basically whatever. So there they are right there. And it looks really pretty. And the reviews I've seen of it say that it stays in place. So I'll let you know next month how well it does. So that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.